Hello and good afternoon from Jonathan Hart at Robertsdale United Methodist Church. It is great to be with you on the uh, end, toward the end of this Thursday. Uh, and I have been praying for you today, beloved, whoever you are, uh, especially if you are a member of our church. Uh, I have been in prayer for you today, but I've also been in prayer for those who are connected to our church or maybe watching these videos or listening. Uh, even if you're not a member of our church, even if you're not local to our community, I want you to know I have lifted you in prayer today. Uh, we are looking forward to worshiping together this Sunday morning in person at 8.30 and 10 and also online at 10 o'clock right here on our Facebook page through Facebook Live and our website, Robert So UMC. Uh, as I wrap up the end of this day, uh, we are sending out an e-news that I've been working on today. It's scheduled to go out tomorrow. And I want to say that if you have not subscribed to our e-news and you want to get those weekly updates, uh, things going on in the life of our church, especially as we enter the holiday season and this season looks a little different uh, than it has in years past, we want you to be up to date on all the things that are going on. So you can go to robertstellumc.com, go over to where it says connect, and below that you will find subscribe to e-news. Uh, you can click on that, give us your name and email address, and you will receive that as it's scheduled to go out tomorrow. But today I just wanted to share a word uh, devotionally with you as I continue my read through the One Year Bible. We're back in Hebrews today where we were uh, two days ago, but today we're in chapter 11. Uh, so I read the incredible promise the other day that God remembers our sins and lawless deeds no more. Uh, today is a little bit different flavor, and I want to talk about faith. Um, and last night at Bible study, we looked at Psalm 132 and how uh, it anchors us as a people of obedience to God uh, by looking back on the past and remembering what God has done, but also propelling us forward into a future hope. That that's always part of what it means to be obedient uh, and to walk this earth as a person of faith. We remember and we celebrate what God has done in the past that strengthens our faith, but our faith uh, just by being faith is oriented toward a future hope that is pulling us onward. Hebrews chapter 11 is just yet another example of that. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in, in days of old earned a good reputation. So days of old. So uh, faith is the reality of what we hope for, future. The evidence of things we cannot see, cannot yet see. But through their faith, the people in days of old, past, remembrance, history, earned a good reputation. By faith, we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command, that what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. It was by faith that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God than Cain did. Abel's offering gave evidence that he was a righteous man, and God shows his, showed his approval of his gifts. Although Abel is long dead, he still speaks to us by his example of faith. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. His, his, he disappeared, excuse me, because God took him. For before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God, who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world, and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. He went without knowing where he was going. Many of us feel like 2020 is one of those years where we don't know where we're going or how we got here. And even when he reached the land God promised him, he lived there by faith. For he was like a foreigner living in tents. And so did Isaac and Jacob who inherited the same promise. Abraham was confidently looking forward to a city with eternal foundations, a city designed and built by God. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child, though she was barren and was too old. She believed that God would keep his promise. And so a whole nation came from this one man who was as good as dead, a nation with so many people that like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, there is no way to count them. All these people died still believing what God had promised them. They did not receive what was promised, but they saw it all from a distance and welcomed it. They agreed that they were foreigners and nomads here on earth. Obviously, people who say such things are looking forward to a country they can call their own. 
If they had longed for the country they came from, they could have gone back. But they were looking for a better place, a heavenly homeland. That is why God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. I wonder uh, what you heard in that, what specific word maybe the Lord spoke to you, uh, what stood out to you. But I just want to encourage you today as I read that and as I'm challenged by it and as I share it with you, that you come from a long line of people of faith. Uh, that if you are finding it challenging to walk and live and believe and have confidence as a person of faith right now, just know that you come from a long line. You are part of a family of faith that is generations upon generations upon generations old. Uh, and our faith is handed down to us as it is now our, our turn uh, to walk this life of faith as people did like Abel, all the way back to Abel. Uh, one of the first children of uh, Adam and Eve, right? Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, uh, all of these heroes of faith. Uh, and then the disciples of Jesus and those in the early church who wrestled with issues just like we wrestle today. And sometimes we feel like we're so far removed. But the story of God continues and the faithful walk by faith. So know today that you are part of a family that is so much bigger than just the people you know on this earth. It's bigger even than just the people you happen to go to church with at the moment. It's bigger even than the people you miss that you used to go to church with, uh, that you don't get to any longer because they are now a part of the church triumphant. Uh, you are part of a faith family that even transcends the time and the generation in which we live. You come from a long line of the faithful. And I pray that that would encourage you today. I pray that would embolden your faith. And I pray that those words at the end uh, would also find a home in your soul to always remember that there is a, a touch of being a nomad that exists for the person of faith. It's always a reality for the person of faith that while we are placed here and given assignments by God, uh, and we should, I've, I've heard friends talk about it as putting down roots, you should put down roots where God has planted you. And you should bloom where God has planted you. And to use Jesus' words maybe more accurately, you should bear fruit where God has planted you. And yet, we always live in a sense uh, that this world is not our permanent home. That our eternal hope is not found in this world or the systems of this world or the people uh, that, that only the people that we can see. We're part of a greater family than that. We, we are part of a great hope that just as we look around and grieve that things are not as they should be, Neither is God leaving them as they are. Uh, God is taking us forward, and so we always live with this future hope that becomes a reality for those of us who walk by faith. So be encouraged, child of God today. Be encouraged, brother or sister, in the family of faith. Uh, God is with us, and we come from a long line of those who put our trust in him. God bless you today. I'll see you Sunday for worship. Grace and peace.